What's up, everybody? This is Clinton Sly. Yeah, see the organization. Big up yourself. And I say, and I say, ha ha. May I ask people, are you ready? Are you ready for this? I may say, people, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Um, how would I define my style? I'd say it's basically reggae music influenced by a lot of electronic um, type of popular music today. A bit of influence of pop overall as well, but uh, generally I'd say reggae music for sure. The first reggae song I heard was, or that I could remember hearing I should say, it was probably Rita Marley, Feeling High. Um, I was pretty young when I heard that song, so I didn't really understand the meaning behind it, but you know, I found it very catchy, so I would say that was one of my most memorable first in experiences with reggae music. Yeah, I wouldn't say that Canada has a large reggae dancehall scene, but we've had a few selectors, DJs, who've been around for a while, you know, promoting the music overall, the reggae and dancehall music, and uh, we have a few veteran artists who have been around for a while as well. So we're slowly growing a, a roster of, you know, talented people. And um, not as big as the UK, for example, but I'm trying to make my mark in there still. Yes, yes. So I recently completed my first studio album entitled Ready. Um, the title track Ready was produced by fellow Canadian producer slash DJ Seed Organization. So basically it's a combination of reggae and dance on music. It's a, just a general vibe of having a good time, unity through the music, and uh, you know, peace and love and all that good stuff. Yes, so for 2015, hope to make it over to the UK. Uh, hopefully, reach over to Spain, touch a few other countries over in Europe. Uh, I'm looking into booking all those right now. Probably going to be traveling around with Seed Organization as well, since he's sort of my uh, official DJ. So that's the plan, you know. Hopefully, I'll reach over to Barcelona, Spain, sometime for the new year. Although, you know, music itself can be a profession, I don't like to look at it as a profession per se. Um, it's still a passion because as long as you enjoy making the music, uh, you're going to continue making the music. And that's the case for myself, you know. As long as I keep loving the music, I'll keep making the music. Whether it be producing, writing, or getting up on stage and performing, it's, it's still all the passion. It has to be there in order to give yourself 100%. You worry about the professional parts later. Obviously, you still have to keep it professional, you know, being on time. Uh, all them type of things that come along with the business itself. But you have to make sure the passion is there first in order to give it your 100%. And that's what I intend to do. Yes, yeah, so if there's one artist I would like to perform with, it's difficult to say. There's so many uh, since there's been a lot of influence from a lot of different genres uh, as I was growing up. Obviously, the most of it being in reggae music, but there's so much artists out there that I'd love to work with, and hopefully one day I'll get to work with any one of them would be a blessing still. So it's difficult for me to just choose one. So I just keep my doors open and say <laughs> all of my influences. That would be a dream. Yes, Silence Crew.
This is Clinton Sly. Whether in the sunshine or the rain, we do it right in Barcelona, Spain. You see it? We are gonna start the fire no. Start the fire yo. Start the fire no. It's getting hot in here.